how to create Twitter or X ads account step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with building your ad account on X, so formerly known as Twitter. Now, creating your ad account on Twitter is a very pivotal decision because ad revenue is something that people are really underestimating. People have been spending more and more online and online ads are a primary reason why. So if you want to get more sales and generate more leads, advertising on Twitter is something that you should be doing. Now, how can you get started with advertising? Well, to get started, you don't necessarily have to, you know, start big. You can get started with very targeted campaigns towards your particular audience. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is head on over to your Twitter dashboard. Once you're on your Twitter dashboard, on your left panel, you're going to click on more at the bottom. Once you click on more at the bottom, you're going to click on professional tools and then just click on ads. This will open up your Twitter ads section. Now, if this is your first time ever opening Twitter ads, it's going to ask you to add a stream of revenue. So this usually just means your card information. How are your Twitter expenses going to be paid? You just have to add any card info. And then from here, you're going to be able to see all of your campaigns. Below that, you have different ad groups, ads, and audience as well. And you can take a look at your performance for campaigns, ads, ad groups, and audiences as well. Then on your top, you have your campaigns where you can build your campaigns as well as manage your ads. You have your creative, such as your composer, posts, and media. So you will be able to see how your media content is going to look like. Then you have your analytics and then you have your tools. Now let's get started with campaigns. So we're going to click on create campaign over here and you have two basic options. You can create a simple campaign and then you have the advanced version. Now the advanced version allows you more customization and fine tuning and control over your advertisements. However, if you're new to advertising on Twitter, going with a simple route is always better. Now from here, you're going to click on next and then you're going to choose the basic objective. So your Twitter campaign, especially if you're not going to go over a budget, if you have, you know, certain financial restraints in your campaigns, then you want a very specific objective in mind, such as engagement, website traffic, reach or keywords. So I want to get more people to my website. That's the objective. So I'm going to click on next over here. Now, after that, I can add my text, whatever I want. So it might be the best season and sale is happening now at your debt like this. And then I can insert the URL as well. You can even customize the delivery as well. So, you know, when you want this to be seen however what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and open up my shopify store and you can use smart url or pretty url to just convert your urls to a more appeasing version as well especially if you're running you know free urls then that can look pretty bad so we're gonna click on paste over here and it's always better to make sure that your URLs are, you know, a pretty version. So I'm going to add media content after that. I'm going to just go ahead and upload like a product image like this. And we're just going to upload another one instead. So let's take this one over here and click on save. And then after that, once you have chosen your media, you're going to click on confirm. This is what it's going to look like. And then we're just going to enter our website URL. And then we can enter our headline. The best gift for your girlfriend. Like this, you know, whatever is your advertising line, you can insert that over here. Now, you will see in launching this ad will create a promoted only tweet and promoted only tweets are, you know, shown as promoted. 
then you're going to click on next and then it's going to show you your demographics your location and then your reach potential now we're going to open up our demographics and we are looking to target any gender and we're going to add the age range which is going to be maybe i'm targeting people between 21 and 34 that's like my specific location and i want to target people in canada so let's say i'm shipping in primarily in canada i can just select canada like this and then i have some targeting features so i'm going to use targeting words like plushy then i'm going to use the word gift gift for girlfriend like this and then after that let's say i'm going to include maybe something like um cute plushy like this and then we're also going to use um kawaii so just include you know multiple different keywords like so and then after that you will see some recommendations as well so you can click on that tab and then we're going to add these recommendations as well um keychain uh, dinosaur gifts like this pink plush and then i'm going to click on done over here now you have a specific location that you can target as well but i'm targeting a entire country and then after that you have your followers look like so this can actually help you in further classifying who you want as your audience so let's say i have selena gomez now this is just like a very big example so we have people that follow lookalikes so people that are following you know these specific types of people should be shown our content you can add regular people you can add you know celebrities in this and then you have your operating system that you can choose i want to target people using ios or android devices and let's say I just want them to be using uh, Android 12 and above. Yeah. And then we have, you know, the iOS versions as well. Then you have your interests. So I want to add their interests as beauty interest or maybe something like um, pets, cats, dogs. And then I want to go into beauty and then maybe something like, you know, games, skincare, like this i've added some basic interests and then we have our language so i want to primarily target english and then we're gonna have our budget and schedule now if you enter a different budget a different audience summary is going to appear for you so let's say i have a ten dollar budget you will see that you know sometimes it's not going to be feasible for you to be able to you know um start your campaign with just ten dollars so uh, it's going to show you over a course of two weeks how much money you're going to be spending now this is your daily budget so keep that in mind and i can just enter any budget that i want and i can click on launch campaign over here to get started with launching our campaign so once x approves our ad we can get started with our campaign and just like that we have built our first campaign that is ready to launch so this is the campaign start and this is the campaign end and if you ever want to you know um, pause a campaign you can do that as well and then you can click on the campaign and delete this particular campaign as well now other than this you also have the ads manager which can help you in just regulating all of your ads you can create you know ads and then you know insert them into different campaigns you have multiple different creative elements you can integrate into x for later use as well as analytical tools and audience tools so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your x ads accounts um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video